Hello, my Wasteland Survivors. I'm your host, Nasty Bones, and Hope and I would like to welcome you to the first part in her continuing saga of being in Nuka World or coming to Nuka World at level 1 in survival mode. Now, in our last episode, we did finish clearing the fifth and final zone of Nuka World. Plus, we cleared out all of the places on the outskirts of Nuka World as well. Now, we are ready to move into the Commonwealth. We have started the quest, Open Season. We do need to speak to Shank, but we've got a lot of work ahead of us before we do that. So, let's get going. But, hey, I want to hey. have a word with Harvey. I haven't see. really actually no, properly thanked right. him, and I think it's about time. You led me into a death trap. You're a dead man. Oh, come on. I was just doing my job. I was okay, Harvey, I you're an job. NPC. Your only job right now is to die. I'm thinking that this is, well, not really going to be so much as an evil playthrough, uh, because, you know, Hope's not really all that, that evil, but kind of more of a bitchy playthrough. She's a little bit pissed that she's had to do all this work and still hasn't got to ride any of the rides, and now got to go to the Commonwealth just to get the damn power plant back on. And we haven't been here since level one. There are a lot of raiders out front. We do know there's an Assaultron, and we're just going to go out there and take our time and weed through them. Now, I am going to skip around quite a bit in here. And I think that our first objective needs to be uh, Sunshine Tiding. I had most of it cleared out getting the uh, magazine for double... Oh! 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 It's the spaceship! It's the spaceship! Oh, this couldn't be better timing! We are going to be going to Oberlin Station, and it's right beside that. Perfect! So far, things are looking great. Now, we did pass a Yao Guai lair on the way out to Nuka World. And I dispatched them, and lo and behold, they have killed a legendary for me. Thank you, Yao Guais. I appreciate it. Plus, the meat ought to be awfully delicious. Sunshine Tidings took hardly no time to secure. Uh, there was just a few enemies, and it, like I said, in just a second, I had it done. Now, I'm not making a bed. I'm not making any water. We're fresh out the gate. I think our next objective should be Grey Garden. And we'll just get heading that way. And there it is, everybody. With Oswald's hat on, Hope has found Grey Garden. And I'm thinking that, you know, Grey Garden is probably going to make a pretty good vassal. But we have to align with it first. And we need to find a white. Where is she? Here she is. All right. And we'll get the quest, and then we'll complete that in a few. Run entirely by robots. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Of course, darling. Are you hmm, work you? around the clock. Again, Who sure better to feed my raiders I than thou? For you. Now, the objective here that she would like me to do is to go to the water treatment plant and clear it up, clean it up. It's got a whole bunch of uh, super mutants out front, uh, one with a rocket launcher, and then a bunch of uh, mylarks inside. So we're going to go do that in a few. But first, let's get over to Oberlin Station, and hopefully, if we're lucky, we'll get a kidnapping, Excuse and me. the kidnapping will help. be at Backstreet Apparel. The There's two places it's that okay. the kidnapping actually it happens just at. Tell me what happened. They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that kind of money. Don't worry. I'll get her back. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know what I was going to do. Just bring her back safe, okay? Okay, nice. Kidnapping. And it is at Backstreet Apparel. 
The second place that you uh, could find the kidnapped victim is the CTIBD whatever the hell station. It's over where, or kind of close where you would pick Ada up at when you first start that quest. But guess what, everybody? The spaceship wrecked right here. And we're already here, so let's go check this out. This is pretty cool if you haven't seen it before. Uh, apparently, he was having some technical difficulties or getting a BJ while driving and not paying attention. One of the two. I would like to think it's the BJ. But anyways, if you follow this green blood, which the first time I seen this, I didn't realize it was blood. I just kind of thought it was goo on the ground, you know, because it just kind of matched all of the surroundings. But it leads to this cave. And we'll go inside, and we'll see if the little bug is in here. And, oh, yep, there's some more blood. Oh, and there he is, the poor guy, all alone, stranded on an alien planet. He came in peace, and, you know, for somebody bleeding so bad and all jacked up, he really isn't got much health gone. Uh, when I vats him here in a second, you'll see he's got a full bar of health. But apparently he's foobarred. And uh, nice job, Hope. One hit. Of course, it was a sneak hit. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the real alien blaster. And 300 and whatever rounds for it as well. Now, in survival mode, it's only around 300 that you get and it kind of always difference in uh, hard mode or less it's always 500 uh, so if you've played and you got 500 it's because you wasn't playing survival okay now we'll just continue our way right over to hangman's alley uh, hangman's alley was easy to clear up it just had four or five raiders in it uh, super easy to dra down them, and we'll get a rest. I have made a bed. I've got uh, water up, and we're good to go. We have a big, big day a planned ahead. So, let's get this started. Now, the reason I was hoping it was backstage apparel is because it's actually just kind of like right around the corner. If it was the CIT building, that's like clear over by Bunker Hill. And we'd have a lot of crap to plow through to get over there. This was super easy. Plus, the uh, victim, the kidnap E, is pretty much right in the entrance. And we don't really have to clear the whole building out if we don't want to, to rescue the settler. But... We are on DEFCON alert loot status. We are at loot status chartreuse or whatever. We're going to be building soon and we need all the loot we can get. Also, we need to level up. I still have to put two points in charisma to open local leader. And then I need two points in local leader to do supply lines and to do stores so we need to do as much content as we can we've got a lot of levels to make up so between the loot the killing we're gonna be busy through this whole video and here it is and oh novice lock excellent uh, I only have advanced lock picking right now so that is very helpful or we would have to break the door down with indigo and there she is now if you try to talk to her while you're in sneak you'll just pickpocket her uh, so you gotta stand up to actually uh, strike up the conversation and let's go ahead and loot this place up real quick now uh, towards the end uh, there's a little room where the main boss is at. He wasn't that hard. It's a named NPC, which I can't remember his name. But he happens to be sitting on a grognag magazine. Nice. Grognags are always excellent. We'll take that 5% damage. Yes. 
Uh, anything that we can get our hands on, we are going to. And as a matter of fact, I think we can even get a few of our bobbleheads. So let's turn the quest in and let's get aligned with Oberlin Station. We don't have much to offer by way of thanks, but feel free to use our workshop. Least we can do. You know, Hope is so suave. These people have no idea what's about ready to happen to them. Okay, well, now that we're aligned with Oberlin Station, we can build a bed. It's already got water, and we'll get a little quick save here. We are going to actually go over and do the water treatment plant. And since we are not aligned with Grey Garden yet till we complete that, this is actually the closest place that we can get a save. Uh, I do believe there is a couple of sleeping bags or mattresses in the facility, but I don't want to take the chance of getting a disease and a wussy save, so we're just going to do it here. And that's our objective over there. You crazy cybernautic schizo freakies. We're going to go over there and we're just going to literally jack this place up. Also, we're going to get a special treat. And we'll see that here in a second. Since we're going to be crafting and building, we're going to need these magazines. And here it is. I have worked my way in. I've cleared out most of it. I uh, do have a couple of lay, uh, machine gun turrets left, one right there. But the magazine's sitting right here on this table, and I think we can get it. And no, it's going to start shooting. Okay, let's just take it out, Hope. Uh, he's messing with us. We're trying to film. Ex excuse me, we're trying to film here, sir. And there it is. Yes, our first picket fences. We will now be able to build patio furniture at our settlements. Okay, and we have uh, three more to collect before the video's over. And now it's time to get back to Grey Garden and turn the hall. Oh, what the? A century bot. What the hell? I've ne Oh, we're going to die here. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Run, Hope. Run. It's going to blow. Oh, what the? What just happened? I've never had a sentry bot in the entrance like that ever here in all the times I've done playthroughs. And we almost died right there. Oh my god. Way to be on top of it, Hope. Alright, get over here and let's turn this quest in. That's right. That's marvelous, darling. Simply marvelous. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! That's simply marvelous, darling, marvelous. All right, now Grey Garden is aligned with us, or we are aligned with them. Plus, Green is going to be one of the only few vendors that we're going to have access to for quite a while. And we can pick up any extra caps if we need to off of Brown by selling him some mute fruits. All right, we're back at Hangman's Alley. And once again, I've got another save in. We're properly, properly hydrated. And it's another big day planned. And it's a bobblehead chasing day. I do think that we can actually get most of our uh, special bobbleheads without activating any of the uh, vanilla quest lines. And that's the objective. And our first stop is going to be the public library. And in the public library, we're going to find the intelligence bobblehead, of course. Now, it is fairly close to the entrance. There are several bots that are uh, protecting the place because it's being infested by super mutants. Uh, now, once you walk in and you go so far, it actually triggers three super mutants to come through the door we just came in. So you actually kind of get surrounded, so be prepared for that if you're here. 
and just kind of make your way into this back room you'll find uh, you know just a whole bunch of crap it's been locked up for a while and here it is the intelligence bobblehead sitting right here on this computer stand and we have our first special bobblehead now I finished clearing out the place and I'm about ready to leave but I wanted to show you that in this particular uh, book return there is a Massachusetts surgical journal it costs 50 tokens I have found enough books to get 30 tokens so we're gonna need another four books if we want to get that uh, we will get one from Daisy but now our next objective is Trinity Towers Help or Mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio my name is Rex Goodman I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm setting this to repeat. Ah, oh, shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming! Help. Now, oh. Trinity Towers Mayday. is oh, actually is just right around the corner from the uh, library. I'm being held and that's where we're gonna find the melee bobblehead. We're also gonna find Strong but we're not even going to talk to him strong will spend the rest of this gameplay at uh this location somewhere i have no idea where so now i've worked my way to the top i'm using barry mintat so i can see where everybody's at it's working great talking to rex trying to figure out how to open the door oh no the door is locked and i don't have advanced enough lock picking to open it so I don't know maybe this bobblehead is out of our reach at this particular time I've always came here with quite high lock picking so unless we can find a key we're pretty much screwed here and I'm not seeing anything at all uh, let's see, there was a workbench there. Oh, you know what? Hey, look, there's a uh, boss loot box. And oh, thank God, the Trinity Tower key is there. Okay, for a minute I had... I, I thought it all was lost. And this was a wasted trip up here other than the XP I got. There wasn't very many super mutants, so it really wasn't all that much extra XP. And there it is, my fellow friends, the melee bobblehead. We get 25% critical damage with melee. And since Hope is pretty much busting bitches up with her uh, bat indigo, I think that's going to be a great bobblehead for us. Now, I do think that before we head back home, we should go over and ta pay a visit to Hubris Comics. Now, there's nothing really here of use, but I could use the extra XP, and there's a lot of feral ghouls here. Plus, you know, the Grognag axe isn't, you know, a bad thing to have. Now, doing these little side deals like this, I've got to really be careful, because as a personal challenge, what I want to do is I have want to have no actual open quests for the vanilla part of Fallout 4. And some places that we could go or visit might trigger a conversation or a somebody might mention something in the background and we would get them. I want to have a clear uh, quest list when we finish. And there it is, the Grognag now it's pretty good it's got some cool animations but you know without modding it up a little bit indigo is gonna be so much better yeah 352 damage while grognag does 146 yeah we're doing about two and a half times what grognag is okay remember we are on loot status get it all and so we're gonna loot the hell out of this place and there is one more final magazine and since we've already got the alien blaster we'll probably never use it 
but there's a magazine that'll give us 5% more damage if we do use it. Pretty cool little addition to our collection. Now here we can also find the Silver Shroud costume, but don't pick it up. If you do, it will go in as a quest object and start the sh Silver Shroud quest line, as well as picking up the Silver Machine Gun. So, we're going to leave them behind. I did get the Grognag suit. That has nothing to do with anything. Also, there is some memorabilia in here, some photo uh, signed pictures of the Silver Shroud. Don't get those either. And since we're going to be traveling through this area quite heavily, I think we need to dispatch the swan. And, yeah, he's tough. I know he's tough. At this point, I'm addicted, too. I've been using Buff Out to haul all the loot back to uh, Hangman's Alley. And so, you know, we're addicted at this point in time. But it's no real big deal. Uh, I don't have any addict all, uh, or I don't have any way to get rid of it yet. We haven't come across a doctor, and I don't know exactly where we're gonna find a doctor either. Now I know this Molotov is not gonna do anything to him. I just want to wake him up, get him moving around, and then we'll just kind of hide over here, and we'll use patience as our weapon and we'll see where he goes and what he does and he's just kinda of mulling around a little closer dude a little closer I think that's close enough let's see oh I don't know if we can take him out hope okay give him a crit put a oh he hit us but we're in vats hit him again there's the crit okay and one more oh I'm out of vats I'm out of vats revats him again and he's down, and we are in the water, taking rads like a boss. Get out, get out. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, and he has an epic power fist on him. Does more damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. Also, I was a dumbass and didn't bring the hazmat suit. And this is just the start of a sad day, or what we could call a rad day. And we'll find another Grognag magazine. And with that, we're doing a little bit more melee damage. And we took a lot of rads right there. Between the water and uh, the magazine, yeah, we're not looking good. Okay, my next objective is the combat zone. It's actually right beside where the swan is at. And it has another crafting magazine that I'd like to get my little grubby hands on. So, we're going to just go ahead and take out a couple of these raiders. There's also a couple of super mutants around the corner that are bothering me as well. Plus, I noticed one of them was legendary, which happens to be this mutant hound laying on the ground and let's see what he's got quick automatic plasma pistol cost 25 percent less action points well the legendary loot is getting better it's just not get we're not getting any kind of legendary effects that we would like to use and inside the combat zone i'll just kill everybody Okay, it looks like everybody's down. And we can find Kate in here. But I'm not even going to get close to her. We're going to leave Kate locked in the cage with her manager for the rest of this entire playthrough. And with this picket fences, we can now craft potted plants. And yeah, loot status DEFCON Delta 5. Pick it all up, Hope take it home. Okay, well, we've got a lot done. We're back at Hangman's Alley. I did actually find some Addictol so we can get rid of our addiction. Also, we picked up a disease when we were over at Hubris Comics. We'll take care of that as well. We'll get a little bit of a drink in. We'll get a sleep. And you know what? We've got momentum going for us. Why stop now? Let's keep going. We've got a lot done. We've secured four uh, settlements. We've got 
four uh, uh, little dungeons done. And there's a lot more to do before we can get to building our settlements for our raiders. And I think our next stop should be a good neighbor. Plus, right beside good neighbor is mass fusion. And mass fusion is where we can find the strength bobblehead. But I just happened to run into this l in luck. Don't I got a I got a right arm luck one already. It's what we had a centennial piece that we lost and replaced with. Well, okay, whatever. I'm starting to get repeats now. And we'll just dispatch these little buggers down and uh, pick up all their loots. Because remember, we are on loot status delta... I don't know. I'm running out of shit to call it. And right here in front of us is a little Y path. If we go to the left, that's mass fusion right there. If we go to the right, it's good neighbor. And there's usually two or three raiders out front. I say we just take care of them real quick before we go to good neighbor. And now you guys saw that was good shots. Why did that miss? Oh, that that was good shooting right there. That's okay. Indigo will take care of it and Indigo never misses. Okay, two raiders, you're down, and you're down. And another thing here in the entrance is be careful. There are landmines placed randomly around the area. And they will blow you up. So, let's get into good neighbor. There's a couple of things we need here. One, we want to talk to Daisy. Two... There's a couple of magazines, but they're not very helpful magazines. They are more dedicated towards followers. Also, we have finally got our fourth level up perk. And we're just going to get it right into Charisma and get both points right into Local Leader. We now can create supply lines and stores in our settlements. But first, I got this dude blocking my way and I need to jack him up and I ain't messing around. Or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Man, this is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there. But a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. You know, Hancock, I like you. I think Hope and you are going to get along just oh, fine. You both speak the same awesome language. Nice. The language of beating people that. up. But that you will probably be the last best. time that we ever speak. So I'll see you I'll on look. the next sure. playthrough. All the supplies, money, or violence can buy. Now, Daisy doesn't really carry a lot of anything too good, but she does carry shipments, and I need concrete. We're going to be building soon. Plus, we're cap heavy. Remember, we got a scab magazine that uh, gives us three to all stats if we're under 100 caps. And just. Luckily hey, enough, 300 yeah, concrete cost us all of our caps. You're looking for. Got any work? I do, actually. Super mutants have taken over the old Boston Public Library. I got a lot of fond memories of that place from when I was a girl and human. You get those lumbering brutes out of there, I'll pay you 200 caps. I don't think that's enough money to cover clearing out a whole building. You got a good point. We'll make it uh, 250 caps. Hey, it's not just the cost of ammunition. Danger means doctor's fees. Look, I've been shilling deals for two centuries, and you just overplayed your hand. The job's 200 caps. Take it or leave it. 
Oh, well, damn it. You Actually, can't blame a bitch for trying. Uh, you know, tried to squeeze as much caps out of her as we now could, and it didn't work. And we pay the price, oh, and we and only really get the 200 caps that she on. originally offered. Oh, Plus, now we're over the 100 ever. caps for our scab magazine, and there's really not much else to buy. So, other than we picked up some concrete, that was kind of useless. Also, if we take a trip over to the third rail in the shitter, the loo, the rest stop, whatever you want to call it, we're going to find our first of three magazines. Live and Love. Your companion gains 5% damage and energy resistance. And we're not going in any farther because we don't want to trigger any of the conversations that might happen down in the bar. Also, over in uh, Hotel Rexford is another magazine, Live and Love. Uh, permanently gain 5% XP when a companion is with you. And oh, oh, get out of here, Hope. I think we might be triggering the uh, Drinking Buddy quest. Get out, get out, no. Okay, well, it's time for mass fusion, but right around the corner from it was some more raiders and another legendary. And we got a handmade rifle. Not too bad. Nocturnal. Mm, you know, it's getting better. So, we're not going to probably use it, but I think we're going to get some good things. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, mass fusion. Now, Mass Fusion holds two things of importance. The first is the Strength Bobblehead. The second is the Free Fall Armor, which happens to be the rarest armor in the game. Normally, you have to have a jet pack to get it. I was thinking about it earlier today, and I think I might be able to get it without Power Armor or a jet pack. Now, there are a few enemies in here. They're not too hard, but I did almost die right here. Hope he's got a rocket launcher. Indigo, save the day. Oh, my God. If we would have got shot with that, yeah, we would have been heading back. And we'd had to done good neighbor and all that all over again. Now, at the very end of this dungeon... There's one lone guy left, the end boss, wearing power armor. Every time I've ever been here, he's always been in this room, or she. Uh, there's been a couple of times I came here, it was actually a female. So now I don't know if it's every time, I've never really paid attention, but anyways, they're always in this room. Now, the, uh, if you do piss off everybody in there after you, she does come out. But if you're stealthy like I am, plus telekine telekinetic and can kill bitches through walls, then you don't have to really worry about it. And we've got a lot of loot here. Ooh, a mini nuke. But we're going to worry about loot in the place later. Right now, let's go get our main object that we're here for. And that is the strength bobblehead. And we can find it on the head of this statue right here. And there it is, the strength bobblehead. Nice. All right, I think with that, our strength is actually maxed out to 10 now. Now we need to get up there on top of that glass. And that's where we would normally need the power armor suit with a jet pack. You would use the jet pack to get up through... Uh, a hole there. We would get up on this right ledge, jump up on the next ledge, and then there's a hole that we would, uh, you know, jetpack up through. But I think that I might be able to stand on a trash can and get up there. So we're going to try that. Now there is a mattress or a sleeping bag here. It's downstairs, and there's also a trash can there. So let's run down. Let's get the trash can and maybe a quick save as well. And there are two. It looks like that dead raider is actually resting on one. So we'll grab this one. Now I think there is a mattress up 
uh, where we want to go or a sleeping bag. So I'm not going to save here. We're going to try to get up on that ledge and then find that mattress or that sleeping bag and get a save in. Now, I got up here, and I've got up to the first ledge, and I'm just not actually seeing any spot that we could continue on. So, maybe my idea is not going to work. And the reason is, is because it has like a lip on it. And right here's the hole we got a jetpack into. And as you can see, there are pieces sticking out part of the floor, and there's no real straight wall right up to it. And we need that to use the trash can. So we're probably not going to get the power armor. Um, hold up. Hold up here. Um, oh, crap. I just jumped off without our trash can. Um, that's okay. I know where there's more. We might be able to use this turbo lift or this elevator to do it um okay okay hold it maybe we got a new plan hope we've got a new plan this time let's go back downstairs and we will save and then we'll use this other trash can um yeah there's a possibility we could die doing this so it's better to get our save in right now and excuse me, sir, I need this trash can. Uh, okay, thank you. I, I will return it. I'll bring it back soon. And let's get right over to this turbo lift and see if it'll work. Well, first thing I think we need to do is get a little bit better grab on it. Now let's... It's working. It's working. Okay, go, 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 go. That's our floor, Hope. We passed our floor and... Oh no, we died. We wasn't that far up there. Okay, well, it's a good thing that we got a wussy save in. And, uh, excuse me, sir, I need the trash can again. No, let go. Let go. I, I'll bring it back. I, pr I promise I'll bring it back. Let go. Let go. He's not letting go, everybody. Uh, okay, get off my trash can. Uh, pull, shake, twist. Okay, maybe if I grab the raider and pull him, that he'll get his hand off of that. And no, that is stuck good. If we could find out what glue he's using, we'd make a billion dollars. Um, I think it's our only trash can, so we have really no choice to but to use it so okay the raider wants to come on the trip with us he's like curious what we're doing i don't know if this will even work and it is it is but i'm all over the place no 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 i lost the trash can oh how I, oh and i didn't die <laughs> okay apparently i can land on those little supports Okay, let's try it again. No, we are out of control. It's like the weight of the body is swinging me back and forth as well. And the more it's, yep, the more it swings and, oh, 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 oh. Well, we're, we're messed up pretty bad. Okay. We finally got up here. And I need two things. One, a new trash can. Two, a place to say, uh, sleep and get a save in. And I'm not seeing a mattress. Yeah, there's our raider still attached to the trash can. I'm not seeing anything to get a rest in. A uh, locked expert. Oh, that's the door that we would have needed to come through if we would have came through that hole I was originally trying. So we would have been double blocked. Okay, in one of the offices was another... Uh, trash can now I didn't get a save up here I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die two or ten or twenty times so we're actually gonna act have to start this over from the very bottom if I do die so let's go let's give it a shot maybe we can one shot it now keep going until you see like a wall on the left right there there's one more room oh and I missed it 
if you fall on this it's virtually impossible to get going again because where you want to turn is right above you and it's so hard without the momentum to make the turn but I'm doing it I'm I'm not doing it I'm I'm actually dying right now so okay we got one death under our belts now we have to start at the bottom again and I've made it all the way up but yeah I'm making it back to death again and down goes hope all right let's try it again and again and we're not doing it no yep this time yeah this time I'm just gonna load the save I'm not even gonna wait to die okay let's try it again I know we can do it we've gotten up on top of the glass that's all that matters all right give me your trash can oh I got the trash can this time without the Raider attached to it uh, lucky okay maybe that means something so let's get over here let's get positioned and away we go we're making it up come on oh stuck a little go 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 here's our floor right there okay drop off hope oh shit we lost our trash can where did it go oh no that's okay uh, I found another trash can when I died in the time before which is right here and there's actually two of them in here you can see another one there on the right and hell we can't even hold on to the one that we've got so let's grab it let's get into position and let's try it again I'm pretty sure we're gonna be doing this two or three or ten more times okay look for our wall look for a wall there it is okay one more room now start making the turn oh 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 no no oh Oh, oh, we, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. We did it. We did it. Hope you did it, girl. You're here. You now can have this car as a consolation prize. But really your prize is what's in this safe. I can't believe it. You know, actually only took me about six tries to do it. The hard part was figuring out how to get on top of the glass without power armor or a jetpack. And there it is, Hopester. Free fall armor. Right leg and left leg. You worked hard. You deserve it. I do have a video out on how to get this with the power armor. I do say in the video that you only need one piece on to survive the fall. I was very incorrect with that. You need both pieces on. If you're only wearing one, you'll break the other leg and possibly, oh, pardon me, die if you're not a very high level or got high health. Now, we'll just get all this loot here because remember, we are on loot status chartreuse. And also, there's a pretty neat little story here, but we won't go over it because it takes too much time and we've got a lot to do in this video and time is very important oop potential purified waters and with that you crazy wasteland freakoids all we got to do is put the power armor on or the power armor I gotta quit calling it that the free fall armor and make the leap of faith and we have discovered, Hope has discovered, that that trash can's trying to outrun us. That we can actually get the free fall armor without uh, using power armor. And you could probably get it at any level if you could kill the raiders in this location. Now, our next objective is Jamaica Plains. Uh, there is a checkpoint here, and there's two things of interest. One is this legendary Mr. Gutsy. The other is there's usually a power armor suit here with a, uh, you know, random spawn of uh, pieces on it. And if we get lucky, we'll get a bunch. Because we're not lucky with this legendary weapon. Yeah, I'm not happy about that at all. But there it is. It's right there. And we'll see how many... Oh, what the... Oh, we uh, instantly just got irradiated thank you 
thank you very much. And once again, we're unlucky. We only got two pieces of X01 on that skeleton. And yeah, we got foobard there. Now we're really hurting. But a little farther down the road towards the east is a checkpoint, a military checkpoint. And there is always a full suit of X01 power armor in there if you're in the appropriate level. But with uh, higher computer skills than what I got, we're not going to get it or get it anytime soon. So let's finish off these guys. Maybe that guy is tough. He took, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Go back to Vats. Go back to Vats. We took a hit and a melee hit, but we got him. And yeah, look at how much, yeah, I don't know. Let's hurry up and grab this guns and bullets. Um, it does give us 5% uh, critical damage with ballistic bullets. Also, there's a bed. And because we're so messed up, I think we better get a wussy save. Plus, it's a good bed. We can get some rested XP. Now, I've made it to Jamaica Plains. I've cleared it out. I am even more radiated because I did take a couple of hits from feral ghouls that are infested in this area. I've built a bed, I've got some water, and we need this here because we have a few more bobbleheads to chase down. And they're located in the south. Now, I went to the Adams Cats because I couldn't remember what the bobblehead here was. And it is unarmed. Okay. Well, it's not really useful, but we'll go ahead and take it. Now, I did die later on, so I never did come back and retrieve that particular bobblehead again. But this is our next objective, the Poseidon Energy. And we're going to get our Endurance bobblehead in here. Now, I'm not really for sure how this is going to go down. We don't have much health to play with, and if we aggro enough enemies, we are going to pay the price, which I actually did later on. And we've almost got them all down. You know, Idiot Servant has been procking left and right for me lately. Even with the uh, intelligent bobblehead, it's just been procking a lot. And thanks to Cricket's help, we was able to get everybody on the outside down. And we'll just take a quick look at what she got and drool over it. Because, yeah, with 415 caps, we can't afford nothing. And, oh, great, it's a master lock on that door. And we're going to need two more points in lock picking. So, I went to the FS, FMS Northern Star thinking I might level up there, I actually got more radiated and killed, dead. So, we've got to figure out how to get rid of this radiation. I can't make a radiation chamber, but I might be able to back at uh, Hangman's Alley, because I have a lot of resources there. But, on the way back, I want to stop at Hardware Town, because there is another crafting magazine in here. And I've cleared everything out. Now, this is where you would pick it up in this little room. And there it is. We can now make high-tech lighting in our settlements. Uh, there is green paint to be mixed here for a quest in Diamond City. I'm going to try to keep my ass out of Diamond City, period, because I'll get nothing but quests out of there. So I'm back in Hangman's Alley. And I'm looking, let's see, can we make it? Can we make it? No, I'm still short on fiber optics. But, because I cleared out Hardware Town, I actually found a couple of hundred caps. And I can now actually make a um, hospital or, you know, a med station. But the only settlement that I actually have assignable settlers at is Oberlin Station. But before we do that, let's check and see if we can make a decontamination chamber here. I don't think we can. Yeah, I don't have a lot of resources here at all. Yeah, we don't have anything here. 
So we are now just obligated to go ahead and make a clinic. Uh, we've got to get rid of this radiation if we're going to continue on. And the only doctor I'm aware of right now is one in Diamond City. And like I said, we're not going in there. And I guess we're not going to go ahead and make the uh, deal either. We actually have to have a point in medicine or medic. And I had two points I was going to put into lock picking, but now I'm obligated to put one into medic to, yeah, to make the dang first aid station. We, it's, it, it's important. It's the number one most important thing right now. I'm having a hard time surviving being three quarters radiated. And so I'll address my settler appropriately for her new job and assign her to the station. Now get over there, biatch, and fix me up. Anything else bothering you? No other complaints. Off you go then. Okay, finally we got rid of our radiation. Now I could sleep here and get a save, but Jamaica Plains is our destination. And I think we can make it with just the little bit of health that we got. And of course, on my way, who do I run into? Hi. But Jean. Hey you look like someone and of dog. course, we don't you have a damn right. cap one to buy his dog. But oh, I think yeah. if we pass the you speech sure? checks, that you know, he will always kind of be mulling around in this area. I don't know this for sure, but What's we're going to find out. Because yeah. I did pass the speech okay. checks. I just didn't have the caps to buy the dog. So, you really want to buy it? Well, I, I would, if I had the money. Oh, well. Maybe next time, huh? Well, damn it, Gene. I really would have liked to have bought your dog. And yeah, with 56 caps, we can't even afford bubblegum right now. So, Jamaica Plains, here we go. Now, I've already got us some food mixed up, uh, made up. I've got water. And our first stop is going to be the FMS Northern Star. The reason is, is because the perception bottle, bobblehead is here. Also, we're going to find a scab magazine. The scab magazine will permanently give us better prices when buying from a, a vendor. I do believe it also works with uh, selling, buying and selling. And here is our reward. The Oh, I'm sorry, not perception. It's the agility bobblehead. The perception bobblehead is locked away with Preston Garvey and we probably will, no, most likely will not be going and getting that one. Now there is a bed here at the FMS. I'm going to go ahead and get a save in because I think I want to try to go get the luck bobblehead. And the luck bobblehead is on Spectacle Island and we got to make a swim for it. And as you can see, I'm already about 80 or 20 percent ish radiated. I am almost leveled up, but this Mylark right here, yep, okay. We now have two levels that we can put into lock picking when we go over to Poseidon Energy. And all we got to do is get this luck bobblehead without pissing off the Mylark Queen. And there it is. I can't believe that we got here and got it without seeing her. Now, I don't think... Ooh, yeah. Throwables. Plenty. Ooh, nice. Nice steamer trunk. Very nice steamer trunk. Yeah. Now, I think that the way that you access the Mylark Queen here is, is when you turn on the little sound emitter that drives the Mylarks off. And we're not going to do this. We are not even going to use this settlement any at all through our entire play. It's completely out of the way. The only way to get here is to swim. We can't fast travel. And, yeah, it's a useless place to do any kind of a settlement. And now back to Poseidon Energy. 
and let's go ahead and check uh, this terminal does access the door but when you try to open it it just says offline so we definitely have to have master lock picking to pick the door and we do got two points to do it now so let's go ahead and pick uh, get our lock picking skill up and pick the door now as soon as we retrieve the endurance bobblehead we will actually have all of our special bobbleheads with the exception of the perception bobblehead and our charisma bobblehead I don't need the charisma bobblehead I've got Barry Mintats plus Hope is a raider she don't give a shit if people like her or not also we have one more crafting magazine to pick up which is in the brewery beside Oberlin Station and as soon as we get that we're gonna start building our raider settlements and vassals so this is how I'm gonna do it I used to stream quite a bit up to a couple of months ago I recently moved and moved my business it's been a little hectic but I'm ready to start getting streaming going again so I'm gonna stream the settlement builds and the vassal builds it's gonna be Wednesday at six o'clock mountain time we're gonna actually form at six o'clock but the stream will start at 630 so I hope you enjoy me uh, join me in hope this is gonna be a great way that we can visit with one another and we can see how these uh, builds are gonna come together I really am looking forward to this and then we'll save the video time for the gameplay all right everybody thank you I hope I see you next Wednesday and until next time, as always, stay safe and peace.